Attempting to be as brutally honest to myself as I possibly can be, I reckon that most of viewers of my videos simply came across them randomly and then moved on as soon as they realized that I'm not about entertainment. I appreciate the few comments I receive as they do tend to be positive because in this day and age speaking out about the malfeasance inherent in our government and the corporations that control it feels a little scarier each passing day. Under the cover of a media that largely ignores issues that affect our civil rights, laws are being passed that make criticizing government policy illegal. Regulations are enacted to benefit big business at our expense. You won't hear about media consolidation in the major media. Nor have I heard any mention of bills being passed that would evaluate how forceful our speech is and bills that would require that our internet service providers archive our names, locations, contact information and actions on the internet for two years or more. So with that in mind, here's some more crap for them to keep track of. A significant minority of each new generation awakens to find the brutal domination of the general population by a tiny minority whose only qualification is inherited wealth. Claiming that the ability to keep and even enlarge that wealth as proof of their prowess and entitlement rings fairly hollow when not only is the deck stacked in their favor, the machinery of the government is at their beck and call. The creation of our nation was proclaimed to bring exception. But the rulers of the revolution didn't have us folk in mind. Nah. The average Joe and Jane, they gave their life and blood in vain. The common man was cannon fodder. His opinion held no water. Only those who owned could be a part of them what ran the game. Although they beat the king and bankers and the church on the bloody battleground, their coffers bled our brand new rulers to their consternation, found they needed the consent of most the little peons, and so they gave away a small part of their might. In order to obtain their corporate constitution, they were forced into accepting our true power, the instigation of the Bill of Rights. Ever since, the struggle never ceases, grabbing back in bits and pieces every right we wrested from them. They strive hard to overcome and then they legislate themselves the power to take even more. So sleep if you're inclined to, but the later you awaken, the more you will find shaken the foundation that your dreams are built upon. And to me, it's quite apparent seismic changes are occurring and we'd better be prepared. But remember, every burden, every task we undertake is always rendered easier when shared. Which 
is why I've taken to pimping for Kucinich as my videos end. His whole platform is based on the predicate that the commons are the basis of what our government should reflect. The burdens should be shared equitably as well as the profits which is why the major media will avoid exposing his message to the general population, making that our collective responsibility. Now, into the circle five.